Show 2020. We're here with our blue crew. As Woo! you can see, real legends. Rick is so stylish. We are ladies and gents. I love it. But we're gonna see all of our fans. We're gonna give some sponsor love. We're gonna have some fun. So make sure you follow us around and you're gonna have fun too, I guess. Yep. Blue team, go! Go! Woo! <laughs> We're here at the Caddy Can booth. I just want to talk a little bit about the Caddy Cans and what they offer. So the cool thing about these is you have the smaller size like that, which is perfect for people that paddleboard, canoe, and kayak. Myself, I, I strap this thing to the back of my seat and it's perfect. Just reach behind if you have any trash. That way nothing gets in the water. And if you keep going here, the cool thing about their setup, it looks like a console for a center console boat. It's as easy as strapping the larger size one on here. That way you don't have to worry about any of that trash flying out into the ocean. We can protect our seas. And as you can see right there, it's just the this little slit up top, you just push it in there and then you can zip, unzip this right here and this whole piece comes out for you to empty the trash once you get to shore. Now the different colors they offer, they have this black one right here, this navy blue, and the one that a lot of people seem to like is this camo one over here. It's just the most outdoor feel that they possibly have. Another cool thing that people use caddy cans for is if you need somewhere to store your cast nets for um, when you're out catching bait, it's the perfect place to stow it while you're out on the water. And then once you get back to shore, you can take it out and rinse it. Captain Jeff Page from the Florida Insider Fishing Report, and I'm reporting for the Startron Central West Region. I'm here at the Miami Boat Show, working at Crook and Crook Costa, and right now we've got a lot of fish in my region that are pushing up on the shallow flats, redfish, snook, even some pompano. Water's gin clear, so you want to stay as far off them as you can, and the new Costa Diego gives you a lot of blockage where you're able to look on those flats and see these fish. It's a copper-based green mirror, great for inshore fishing, good blockage, and nice vents. Brand new from Costa, so come on and see what's out there. Thanks for coming in and seeing us. Conservation Center here at the show. What, how did all this happen? Yeah, so the opportunity with the Conservation Village is really cool. We exhibit with a lot of uh, retailers at the show, but we really wanted to highlight our products, both Untangled and O-Search, but more importantly, our conservation partners. We have CCA, we have IGFA, Recover Consortium, we're highlighting a whole bunch of different others in this booth, and the great part is they get to come to the show for free and highlight the great work they're doing. So guys, as you know, many years ago, we kicked, Kick Plastic was one of Costa's giant projects. I remember the first year at ICAST, they actually had a marlin that was created out of all this plastic stuff that was recovered out of the ocean. Yeah. How is that doing in its current form today, Bob? Great question, and it's a huge initiative for us. It's always part of what we're doing with our guides, with our uh, sails, with our sunglasses, and here at the boat show is a really cool thing. We'll take a walk over to the uh, water station and come with me over here. What's so cool about this, guys, is now Costa is giving away some beautiful aluminum, all aluminum, bottles that you can fill up at water stations here throughout the boat show. They're all over the place. So now Costa, again, doing their part to get eliminate all types of plastic out of the environment. Now we got our aluminum bottles with the cool Costa logo on it. So make sure you guys come down to the boat show or any of the trade shows in the near future and check out Costa's cool stuff and get that plastic out of your boat. So make sure you look out for those water refill stations. Get yourself one of these babies, $10. You get a free visor with it and you're going to help Costa Conservation kick plastic. Go! We got to start getting people in the booth. Contender 
and it has changed the way we do fishing and the way we plan to do fishing before we even leave the dock. Hey guys, we're here at the Sirius XM booth, the Miami Boat Show. Right now we have a line pretty much crossing the whole aisle with Rick and Bree signing the new fish mapping and Florida Insider Fishing Report t-shirts. Come over here and check it out. So we're here at Miami Boat Show. We're on 25X3. It's actually 26 foot X3. It's running through the flats here in 14 inches of water. Not disturbing any grass as you can see. We're in good, good shape here. This thing takes the water so well it's completely dry and you can run through skinny water. It'll draft in 12 inches with four or five of us on the boat. The boat's completely amazing. It's got three sponsons and tunnels through the water so you can actually go from the flats to offshore. We've got this thing equipped with a 425 Yamaha with twin power poles. It's completely decked out.
shot and pack it up. We did it. We did it. Woo! Final day of yes. the 2020 Miami International Boat Show. What'd you guys think? Um, I awesome. Loved it. It I was loved great. It. The weather was a little crazy. The rain was kind of. It was. It was nice. It was. You know, not as hot Maddie, as you normally nice the first show for you. First yeah, show. awesome experience. I absolutely loved it. We'll definitely come back next year, even if I'm in college. Yeah. Even if I'm in college. Yeah. It was a jam-packed schedule, guys, yes, and we got it, it all on camera. We yes, saw like eight or nine different booths for our sponsors, and it's gonna be up on our YouTube channel. So if people want to watch it, what do we gotta do? Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>